Hey, it's Joe Lines, and uh, in this video with Excel and Auto Hotkey, I'm going to demonstrate how to do some search and replacing. So I'm going to start off, this is my my simple search and replace function. I shouldn't really say simple, but it's um, just for one value. And because in here I have a couple of extra parameters, um, of course we get a pointer, connect to the pointer. This next one's a range. I don't know what, let me reload the studio thing here. There it goes. So range, if you leave range blank, it will um, do the entire worksheet. So, or you can set parameters and tell it specifically the area you want to go. Um, this is the search parameter. What are you going to look for? So I'm going to look for my name, Joe. I'm going to replace it with Joey. Um, this next one here is the match case. If match case is zero, it's um, not going to care about case. It'll be case insensitive search replace. If it's a one, it will be... Um, case sensitive and then this next one which actually i'm going to change just to be um a one or a zero right now let me go update that right now and i'll just show you what i'm doing here so in the function so exact case is one right let me see oh you know what? i think maybe i would say about the exact match one yeah because two oh you know what that's a constant that's what it was that's a, an Excel thing. I can just, I could have it change it. But for now, we'll just leave it as a, a one um, ma matches any and a two. I'm sorry, a one is an exact match and a two will match any. Um, that That's an Excel constant thing. So I, I didn't bother to switch it. I think I, I'll probably switch it to be a, a two is really a zero. So zero is it's off. And then the one would be a match case is on. Uh, that seems to make a little more sense to me. Uh, and so let's go back into here. Um, so when I, let's see, so again, this is match cases on, so the, it looks like E1 probably shouldn't get changed. Um, this one match case, oh, I'm sorry, um, sorry, the, the exact match has to do if there's other words in the cell, whether it's matching the entire content of the cell. This is the case one, so my apologies there. Uh, anyway, so let's save it, reload it, um, so match case, exact match. And one, I think, was, um, let me bring it over here so I can remember. Exact and two is any. So, um, so one is going to be an exact. That means that column uh, B, cell one, should not be replaced with Joey. The rest should because there's an extra, some other words in there. The other ones, um, am I doing a case insensitive? You know, let's let's do it where the case is matched and then um, both B1 and E1 won't get replaced. Is it running? Oh, did it actually, let me, I, didn't even, it, I think it happened so fast, I didn't even notice. Let's throw one more over here. And for good measure here. So back to here, save, run. So notice again, the, um, these change, the, the other ones changed, but this one and this one did not. And that's because I had the exact matching case. Let's turn off the matching case. That should free up E1, now will change. And then the exact match, this one, if we set it to two, which like I said, I think I'll default that to zero, just um, then any should have. Huh, I, that should have changed that um, in cell B1. I'm not sure why that's not changing that any. Match case is off. It's going everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. 